Hi, I'm Steve Morton, Landscape Manager at Shell Point. For this edition of Nature's Notebook, we're going to talk about my favorite tree, the Queensland Umbrella Tree. It's located in the Village Church, directly across from the parking garage. This is the uh, Queensland Umbrella Tree. This tree originates from Australia, New Guinea, and Java. And it's interesting because of the large red flowers that look like the ribs of an upturned umbrella. It also has interesting um, palmate leaves, which are leaves that are, radiate from a central area like the fingers from a palm. The leaves are uh, shaped that way really to help ba basically gather as much solar energy as it can, and it blooms best and lives best in full sunlight, which makes it a perfect tree for Southwest Florida. The umbrella tree blooms every summer for specimens that are located in full sun. Shaded specimens won't bloom. And the, the bloom will last pretty long. It's about a two month period of bloom. A couple of other interesting things about the Queensland umbrella tree is that it naturally forms a multi-trunk specimen. So you'll often see several trunks emanating from the ground. Also, it's quite drought tolerant coming from Australia. So it has very low water needs. So the spikes that we're looking at right now um, are essentially what we see is the fruit of the plant. Uh, it flowered several weeks ago, so the, what's remaining is fruit like a strawberry, uh, only obtaining in small clusters on these stems. And of course, fruit is designed to be distributed seeds for the plants, and in this case, birds distribute the fruit of the, the Queensland umbrella tree. The tree produces up to a 1,000 flowers, generating a large amount of nectar. Uh, on this tree, both male and female flowers exist simultaneously, so it is a self-pollinating type tree. Um, but it also is, uh, the, in the, its native range in Queensland, the fruit are fed upon by beautiful little rainbow lorikeets, which are sort of like parakeets that we're familiar with. In Australia, its leaves are a favorite food of the Bennett's tree kangaroo. This tree is about 35 feet and it's a maximum height of the, of the Schiffler tree or the Queensland umbrella tree. This tree uh, is a really quite an old specimen here at Shell Point. I'm estimated it's about 30 years old. Uh, first time visitors to Shell Point are often amazed to, upon seeing the variety of trees and shrubs that we have here. Some of them are quite unusual and not found in other places of the country. The variety of, of trees and plants is what makes Shell Point such a special place to both live and work. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Queensland umbrella tree. I'm Steve Morton. Thank you for joining us on Nature's Notebook.